Lionels are some of the most fearsome enemies in all of Tears of the Kingdom. And in order to get your hands on Lionel Guts, the materials needed to fully upgrade the Soldier Set, Radiant Set, and the Fierce Deity Set, you won't just have to take down any Lionel. Oh no, you'll have to take down the most powerful Lionel of them all, the Silver Lionel. Six times for the Fierce Deity Set, nine times for the Radiant Set, and 15 times for the Soldier Set. It may sound daunting, but here in today's video, I'll show you exactly where you can find 12 Silver Lionels, a route you can then repeat again and again until you have all the materials you desire. We'll also go over some tips to help make the fights easier. We'll explore the mechanics behind Lionels, how their ranks work, drop rates for Lionel Guts, and finally, how Lionels respawn. Let's not waste any more time and get right into it. First things first, before going out and hunting 12 Silver Lionels, I highly recommend finishing the game's main story. Get the Master Sword, get the Hylian Shield, unlock all five Sages, and finish some Shrines to get some Heart Pieces and Stamina. I'd also recommend upgrading a set of armor fully. I can't stress this enough, these things are absolute beasts, and the single scariest enemy in the entire game. They have 5,000 HP and hit super hard, dealing a whopping 90 damage with each attack. Only Ganondorf and Gleox have that much HP and neither even come close to the 90 damage this beast inflicts. So unless you want to get one or two shotted, get some hearts and be sure to equip some powerful armor. I went into this hunt wearing my fully upgraded set of the wild, which I broke down in a video you can find in the video description. That set also provides an attack up set bonus, which means I inflict 20% more damage with every attack, making it perfect for hunting Lionels. Of course, there are many, many different ways to approach a fight in Tears of the Kingdom. You could also eat a meal that increases your attack, or use weapons with a higher attack than the Master Sword. But I personally stuck with the Master Sword and didn't have too much trouble taking these guys down. There is another reason you need to complete the game's main story before following this video, and it has to do with the way Lionels rank up. There are four different variations of the Lionel, each more powerful than the last. The Standard Lionel, the blue maned Lionel, the white maned Lionel, and finally the silver Lionel. Lionel Guts only have a 20% chance of dropping from a blue maned Lionel and a 60% chance of dropping from a white maned Lionel. But thankfully, they are a 100% guaranteed drop when defeating a silver Lionel, which is why we are hunting that version down specifically. However, the number of silver Lionels that spawn in your game will differ depending on how far you've progressed through the game. The Lionel types that appear depend on the world level. The more enemies you defeat, the higher a hidden counter is increasing deep within the game's code. The higher that counter is, the higher the rank will be for enemies like Bokoblins, Horriblins, and Lionels. The world level increases greatly when you defeat one of the dungeon bosses, so finishing the game's main story will essentially max out the game's world level. With a maxed out world level, we will run into more silver Lionel spawns and thus more Lionel guts. Long story short, this guide will assume you have a maxed out world level and you've defeated all of the game's main bosses. If you haven't yet, some of the locations I point out in this video for silver Lionels may appear for you as standard blue maned or white maned Lionels instead. Indeed, I tested all 34 Lionel spawn points in the game at a max world level then waited for a blood moon and went to every spawn point again to confirm that things don't change. And indeed, the 12 spawn points I cover in this video are the 12 that are confirmed silver Lionel spawns. The rest are either standard, blue maned, or white maned. So once you have everything in place, it's time to take one of these things down. First of all, some of these Lionels are armored. As if the 5,000 HP wasn't enough, Certain Lionels have a set of armor on top that can only be destroyed by weapons you use to destroy rocks. In other words, a bomb arrow, your Goron buddy Unobo, or a sword fused with a rock. Luckily, you'll be able to find rocks on the ground near where an armored Lionel spawns, so it shouldn't be too hard to fuse a rock with one of your swords, use it to destroy the armor, then switch back to the Master Sword to take down the Silver Lionel proper. At this point, there is a general loop I like to follow. Jump on Mineru, then jump off and aim your bow to go into bullet time. Shoot a perfect headshot to stun the Lionel. I like to shoot more headshots until I run out of stamina, just for good measure. Once the Lionel is downed, you can mount it and slash it with your sword to inflict a good chunk of damage. The best thing about damaging a Lionel via mount 
is that it has no effect on your weapon's durability. And when you're taking down 12 Lionels with 5,000 HP in succession, weapon durability becomes the real enemy. So be sure to deal most, if not all, of your sword damage via mounting the Lionel. Once you get used to this loop, it actually becomes not so bad. After taking down a few Lionels this way, you should get used to the pattern and the fights become fairly easy. Thankfully, after taking the first Silver Lionel down, things get much smoother thanks to the absolutely amazing drops you will find. In addition to the Lionel Guts, which is the entire point of this video, you'll also get your hands on a Savage Lionel Bow, which is the most powerful bow in the game. It shoots three shots at 32 damage, which will absolutely melt the Lionel's HP, especially if you fuse items to it, though that really isn't necessary. It also drops tons of arrows, a powerful sword in case your Master Sword runs out of power and you need a good sword, and finally, a Silver Lionel Saber Horn, which is the single most powerful item you can fuse your sword with in the entire game. When fused with your sword, its damage will increase by a whopping 55 points. So now with a 3x Savage Lionel Bow and a Master Sword fused with a Silver Lionel Horn, your damage output just got ridiculous. And remember, you get these amazing drops every time you take down a Silver Lionel. We're gonna do this 12 times, so you should realistically never run out of great bows, arrows, and powerful fuse materials, no matter how much you wear down their durability. Also, it's important to keep in mind that some of these Silver Lionel drops will help you upgrade other armor sets as well. Each one will drop a Silver Lionel Mace Horn, nine of which are needed to upgrade the Ancient Heroes aspect, a Silver Lionel Saber Horn, nine of which are needed to upgrade the Ancient Heroes aspect, and three Lionel Hoofs, 15 of which are needed to upgrade the Soldier's set. Finally, let's talk about how these things respawn. Lionel Guts drop from Lionels, and Lionels respawn every time a Blood Moon rises. Blood Moons occur once every two hours and 48 minutes of gameplay time, which means exactly seven days have passed in game. You can't be in a menu or else the timer does not move. If you follow this video and defeat all 12 Silver Lionels, it shouldn't be long before the next Blood Moon rises, and you'll be able to repeat this process again for even more Lionel Guts. It's not hard to kill time between Blood Moons. Obviously, this game is massive, and there is no shortage of stuff to do at any given moment. You can also go idle and wait for a Blood Moon to appear that way too. I like to chill in a spring at Goron City and let the time pass while doing something else. Before you know it, that Blood Moon will spawn, and you can repeat this farming process once again. Like I mentioned earlier, I revisited all of the Lionel spawn points again after a Blood Moon appeared, and I can confirm that the same rank of Lionel will spawn at the same spots each time. That means this exact route of 12 Silver Lionels can be repeated over and over each time a Blood Moon appears. Okay, so now that we know all the mechanics going on behind the scenes with Lionel spawns and how their drops work, let's take a look at the exact locations for these 12 Silver Lionels. Three of them are above ground on the surface, and nine of them could be found in the depths. Let's begin on the surface. The first Silver Lionel could be found here in the southern part of the map at the Nautel Wetlands. If your world level isn't high enough, it may appear as a blue Lionel instead. Next, head to this area east of Rito Village to find the next Silver Lionel. It'll appear as a standard Lionel if your world level isn't high enough. Finally, head to this area near Rabia Plain to find the third and final Silver Lionel that roams the surface. It'll be a blue main Lionel if your world level isn't high enough. With those three out of the way, it's time to head down to the depths to find the other nine. Let's begin at this spot here in the southwestern part of the depths near the Kimakarut Light Route. 
you'll find an armored silver Lionel here, which will be an armored blue Lionel if your world level isn't high enough. Remember, look for rocks on the ground to fuse with your weapon to destroy the Lionel's armor. From there, head north to this spot near the Mui Koro light route to find another armored silver Lionel. This one will be an armored white Lionel if your world level isn't high enough. Next, head to the eastern tip of the map to this spot near the Ui Ikoj light route to find another silver Lionel. It'll be an armored blue Lionel if your world level isn't high enough. Now head south to this spot near the Oo Oo Joge light route to find the next armored silver Lionel. It'll be an armored blue Lionel if your world level isn't high enough. Head north to this spot near the Korakut light route to find another armored silver Lionel. This one will actually be a silver Lionel no matter what, regardless of your world level. It's a guaranteed Silver Lionel spawn. From there, head north to this spot near the Ui Coke light route to find the next armored Silver Lionel. It'll be an armored blue Lionel if your world level isn't high enough. Next, we head west to this spot below Hyrule Castle. As you head through Gloom's approach toward the final boss fights of the game, you'll run into a Silver Lionel. No armor this time, which is nice. This one will be a White Lionel if your world level isn't high enough. And last but certainly not least, we end at this spot here, the infamous Floating Colosseum. If you followed this video up to this point, you should pretty much be a Lionel Master, so it shouldn't be too bad, but still, it's five damn Lionels in a row. Here's a bonus tip. You can one-shot a Lionel by attaching an Ancient Blade to your arrow, but it won't actually drop anything if you do so. So I'd only recommend using it on the lower level Lionels in the Colosseum, so you can get to the Silver Lionels faster. Indeed, after defeating a standard blue and white Lionel in the Colosseum, you'll fight a Silver Lionel, followed by an Armored Silver Lionel. That means two Silver Lionels and two Lionel Guts in one spot. The Armored Silver Lionel in the Colosseum is also unique because it wields this huge spiked iron ball hammer weapon. It could be used to destroy a Lionel's armor, so if you're feeling brave, consider beating the Colosseum first. You'll end up with a bunch of arrows, Savage Lionel bows, Silver Lionel horns, and this spiked iron ball hammer, which should make hunting the other Silver Lionels a breeze. It's also important to note that regardless of your world level, the five Lionels that spawn in this floating Colosseum will always be the same. Standard, blue, white, silver, and armored silver. With that, congratulations. You've taken out more than 12 Lionels in a single sitting. You've collected 12 Lionel guts, Silver Lionel Mace Horns, Silver Lionel Saber Horns, and probably have an inventory full of Savage Lionel Bows as well. You are officially a master of Lionels. Good job. Of course, this route is repeatable. Simply wait for a Blood Moon to rise, and you can repeat it again and again as much as you'd like. And that's going to wrap it up for today. If you like this video and want to see more Tears of the Kingdom guides and content, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. I am still working on more videos just like this one where I'll go through the process of collecting and farming rare materials in order to upgrade your armor. 
So look forward to more very soon. But until next time, thanks so much for watching, everyone. Take care.